and guys now we are moving on your attribute selector so what is your attribute selector so as you as you all know that uh, element is consists of your some attribute attribute means your properties in HTML so as you can see I have uh, given a, I have uh, uh, I have uh, chosen an image over here and I is having the attribute of SRC which means a source and so now just let me show you how to write how to work with your attribute selector so I'm going to remove this all and I'm going to work with your attribute selector so for attribute selector you have to write something for example I'm just writing the journal I'm not writing uh, your how it uh, I'm not choosing any properties right over here and not any attribute so what is mean this you have to write the first attribute and after the attribute you have to write the your uh, any value okay and in this uh, while writing this value you don't have to put the put in put the value in quotations so take care about that so now I'm gonna target my any of the things over here so first uh, I'm just working with simple uh, I'm not just using your at attribute selector I'm just targeting my h1 tag over here uh, simply so I'm gonna target this class of header one oh, here. Okay. okay and I'm changing its color mm. to any I'm just I'm changing it to indigo for example and after saving this uh, you can see in my output that my color will get changed over here okay so you can see my both of the h1 tag have the same header prop sorry header one class that's why both have this both color class change over here and the different way of uh, write, uh, write, writing the class over here is by using your attribute selector so how you can do that uh, for doing that you can just type the word h1 and after that put the square brackets and in between the square bracket you can write the same thing for example class sorry class over here and after that equal to sign and what is like your class name is here is your head one head one so i'm going to write the header one and take care of that you ha don't have to put the class over here in the quotations class name in the quotations okay guys so now that just changes color oh wait, wait wait for a second guys let me show you the output first that the color is uh, we have not specified any color or anything to it then we will add color you can see it is simply a black color and now i'm going to uh, specify the same color over here which is the indigo in last uh, when we use the direct class over here so now you can see in my output that the color is uh, same change as previously it has changed you can see indigo color is assigned to your both of the heading tags so in this way you can use your uh, attribute tag and attribute is sort of many so i'm just taking some few examples over here in this video because the video is uh, so long already but i want you to understand each and every topic clearly and that's why i'm just trying to explain it uh, in more details to you so now um, as you can see in my i have used an uh, image over here so i'm what i can do i'm gonna target my image uh, in this only so what i do i can just come over here and i can write img and just after that as i'm going to use the attribute selector and attribute selector means you have to put this any of the properties of your element so i'm going to target my um, your source property over here and after the source you can just uh, put this your cap sign away with cap sign gone only this cap sign and then the equal to sign and after that you have to put your uh, path your path okay so what is your path you can see no path is just visible to you it is not yet also so as you can see over here um, my uh, images are in some different part which is uh, in some different dictionary different folder which is ss so how this path is starting over here you can see by starting in this way so what i'm do i'm gonna just copy this path and 
paste it over here okay guys so uh, after that you can just assign a property and this is the path I think we have to specify this in this or uh, if not we will just let on sorry okay so as uh, the value is not as specified in your quotation so now just move on uh, you might find uh, this attribute selector some complex because if they are complex but when you are uh, work, start working with them you are just find them easy to uh, work with them okay why is it color code is like this color oh sorry i can't give it color over here okay and this is the image property so i'm gonna change this border okay to 10 pixel solid a what having a um, black okay let me just uh, see it first and then I will tell you what I have done in this decode uh, okay 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 I have to specify this in the quotations because this is an address of your feed sorry address of your image where your image is located okay guys so I have to specify this in your double quotations mark and now it might work so let's just check it out okay as you can see this um, as we have not used in first year double quotation over here I told you that you uh, you don't have to use your quotations or anything over here but uh, it as we have using some your address that's why we have to put the address in the quotations every time so as you can see my uh, this PNG belongs to this folder. So what uh, this means, uh, this cap and equal to means the any any file, any image file which is presented in your SS folder, it going to be, uh, have a bo uh, border of 10 pixels solid black, which uh, any folder starting with your dot 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 SS. Okay, and now you can just change it with this uh, uh, your dollar sound dollar sign also, and and this dollar sign equal to means a uh, any folder which is ending with dot dot slash assessed will going to have uh, will going to have the image property of border 10 pixels solid black so as we have no such folders so i am removing this and the different an another way of styling is you can just put the a strip sign your star sign which means as a stripe uh, as your star sign if your strip sign is your universal selector so it will going to select uh, your image yeah uh, either it is, a, it is a starting it is a starting folder or it is your ending folder so now you can see in my output that uh, uh, the effect uh, the style is same over here so uh, or, or what are uh, so there are some different selectors also different attribute selectors let's just move on and I hope you guys understand the star and your caps equal to or your dollar equal to sign and now we are moving to your white space selector uh, as you all know guys that uh, we can use multiple classes in your your uh, elements over here and you can also specify a multiple classes within our same class it means uh, as you can see i have used the class and now i'm going to specify uh, some different class to my head h1 tag so for specifying some different class, you can just give a white space, uh, press the space button and just after pressing this piece, you have to write any of your name of your class. So I'm going to just write something just for example, uh, para over here, uh, paragraph, okay, because we have written a paragraph just after this. So now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, as you can see, uh, after just saving this. Uh, in my output that there is nothing change over here and now you might ask why is this so because uh, I have not targeted your uh, oh, wait for a second guys okay because I have not targeted your paragraph uh, not target your paragraph class in my output over here 
So I'm going to target my paragraph over here. So and this is the class, so I'm going to type the word paragraph over here. Either I write the pair, either I grab it like this, or as we are working with your attribute selector, so I'm going to write it like this. And h1 and and after that you have to write class and this this not sign which I told you in previously and equal to your uh, whatever the class name you just write wrote over there. So whatever we wrote over there, uh, we have used the paragraph. Okay, so I'm gonna specify paragraph over here and just after that you can just put some color basis and in between the color basis you can assign a, any other property so i'm gonna assign it to long rain and now you can see my just uh, uh output my color got change over here so you can use the different classes also for uh, overwriting your styles of one class with another class in this way and these are very useful and uh, when you are working with this and for now you just mm, know how this all works and so that's all in this video guys i hope you like this tutorial guys and please do subscribe to our channel because uh, i'm going to bring some more interesting videos of your web designing like this only and do comment guys whether you understand whatever I teach you or not because if you don't comment below I'm not getting you whether you are understanding whatever I'm teaching to you or not so and um, you can also follow my insta page I've given the link in the description in which I'm going to upload uh, your different posts based on your different topics every day uh, by which you, it is easier to understand the different topics uh, I will write the uh, topics in some very easy simple words and you can simply say that a story part of your uh, web designing so you can just uh, follow me on insta and you can find some different posts or uh, related to your uh, web designing so thanks for watching guys bye bye and do subscribe uh, once more leave a like also guys